Give me your thoughts on uh, this Kovalev versus Yard fight coming up in Russia. I think it's an interesting fight. I, I think that uh, the confidence that Yard and his team are displaying is essential uh, if he's going to have a chance to win the fight. Uh, just thinking just thinking normally about the fight and thinking factually about the fight. It's going to be a tough uphill battle uh, for the simple reason that there's going to be a lot of questions asked that he hasn't answered before. Um, will he have to fight coming from behind? Will he have to fight hurt? Uh, will he get frustrated? The corner is going to see things that they never had to deal with, so will they be ready to deal with uh, all the other things that come along with a fight, a cut. Uh, maybe he's been dropped. Maybe his confidence is waning. All these things that come into play in a tight fight that uh, only experience can give you, uh, those questions could possibly be asked. But you never know. He could pull off the upset and not face those at all. But I would think that some of those questions will be on the block that night that he will have to answer to. You know, obviously the the the, the big thing about Kovalev, um, I, I think you guys exposed was was, you know, he, he doesn't take it well to the body. And I'm sure that's probably gonna be, you know, a a big part of their strategy, even though that should probably be a big part of everyone's strategy. Um do you think there's anything that Kovalev like has Kovalev looked any different in his last couple of fights that you've seen, obviously he fought Alvarez a couple times. Well, I'll tell you what, the, the Alvarez loss was a blessing in disguise because it brought Buddy McGirt aboard, who has a teaching style that is very complementary to Kovalev's fighting style. Mm. And uh, I think it showed in the last fight where he restrained himself from going crazy, but stuck to a game plan. And I think he's very aware of his weaknesses, uh, whether he worked on them or not, or whether uh, Buddy devised uh, a strategy where he doesn't put himself in those positions and put himself in those uh, uh, in that role. I think that's the key thing. I think the addition to Buddy McGirt was a huge huge compliment to Kovalev's game, particularly at this stage of his career. Because to get inside with Kovalev, it's not a matter of you working your way in. You have to slip in. Because he does have good legs going forward and backwards. And in order, you just can't crudely walk in on Kovalev. Or you can't even work behind a jab. Again. You have to slip in at the right time, at the time he makes a move is when you make a move. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't know if they worked on that because when you get there, he moves his feet very well. You have to be able to get there and be able to punch in that moment. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, that's going to be a, a telling situation right there. And I don't know if Yard has the, the quick enough feet or the timing to be able to slip in at the time that Sergio is uh, vulnerable. Yeah, what did, what did you mean by, I, and I just want to go back, because you mentioned Buddy's teaching style uh, that he has with, with Kovalev. Do, like, do you think that, like, there's a legit relationship there where he's actually listening to his trainer now? I know that that was a knock on him in the past, too, that he wasn't listening to John David Jackson and stuff like that. Well, in the last fight with Alvarez, he definitely followed instructions. So, uh, if you listen to the corner and the interaction that was going on in the corner, he was delivering everything Buddy was asking for. Mm -hmm. So there is a respect there. And uh, Buddy's experience was very apparent in this fight. He toned him down when he needed to tone him down. He picked him up when he needed to pick him up. But Skobalev is a great boxer. He can really box. So you just not going to outbox him. You have to outbox him at certain times, and you have to outfight him at certain times. You have to keep him off balance. And uh, in order to do that, you have to have certain attributes that uh, can make that happen. But you do have to have both. And uh, when he's fighting, you have to box. And when he's boxing, you have to fight. 
So you have to have experience to recognize who's in those modes. But I think Buddy got him working behind a good jab. He already had a a great jab. Mm-hmm. And I think Buddy's got him work recognize that and got him working behind it, but not only that, but giving him an understanding of what to do with that lead hand and how that lead hand could keep him out of trouble, keep him ahead in the fight and set up other things that he's looking for. That's that's what I mean, the addition of Buddy. Right, right. So can you can you even make a prediction on, on this fight or are there just too many variables with, with uh Anthony Yard we we just don't know yet. Well, outside of an upset, uh, if, if I had to pick, uh, I would go with Kovalev by decision mm-hmm. or or a late stoppage. Mm. Um, I, I think that's the choice that I would have to take. Mm-hmm. I, think that, I think that this is just too slow uh, for yard. But at the same time, hey, it's great to be in a position to prove people wrong. Mm-hmm. And again, his his trainer and his his corner, his brain trust has the confidence in him, and he has the belief in himself, and that might be enough right there. Mm-hmm. So if he beats Kovalev, uh, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised. I would give him his props, just like they said they was going to do it. They did it, so you can't be surprised. You have to be a believer at this point. 